Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have my being. Put not your trust in princes, in a son of man in whom there is no salvation. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord, his God. Beloved congregation, receive the greeting of our triune God. Grace, mercy, and peace be unto you from God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us now, in response to God's greeting, sing hymn 168, I greet thee who my sure redeemer art. 168. may be seated. Today we have an Old Testament reading from Deuteronomy chapter 9. If you have a Bible, I invite you to take a moment to turn there. Now, there's a reason we're reading this passage today. This passage 
addresses Israel directly about the reason why God had saved them and why he was bringing them into the land and why he was going to bless them in the land. And he wants to remind them ahead of time that the reason for this blessedness he's to give them is not because of their righteousness. It's not because of their strength. It's not because of anything that they did. It's because of God's love and his mercy to them. Now, why is that important? Well, it's especially important for Israel because all throughout her history, and especially at the time of the coming of Christ, that was the stumbling block that kept them from embracing and believing in Christ. As Paul will say in the passage we'll look out today, instead of submitting to the righteousness of God through faith, they sought to establish their own righteousness based on works. And so God, knowing everything that was going to take place ahead of time, that all throughout history, not just Israel, but all humans would be tempted in some way to trust in their own strength and in their own works for blessing and righteousness, God wants to tell them, and notice how often it's repeated, it's not because of your righteousness, but because of my love for you. So the reading is Deuteronomy 9, verses 1 to 12. As I read, I remind you that this is the word of God. Hear, O Israel, you are to cross over the Jordan today to go in to dispossess nations greater and mightier than you, cities great and fortified up to heaven, a people great and tall, the sons of the Anakim, whom you know and of whom you have heard it said, who can stand before the sons of Anak? Know therefore today that he who goes over before you as a consuming fire is the Lord your God. He will destroy them and subdue them before you. So you shall drive them out and make them perish quickly as the Lord has promised you. Do not say in your heart, after the Lord your God has thrust them out before you, it is because of my righteousness that the Lord has brought me in to possess this land. Whereas it is because of the wickedness of these nations that the Lord is driving them out before you. Not because of your righteousness or the uprightness of your heart are you going in to possess their land, but because of the wickedness of these nations. The Lord your God is driving them out from before you, that he may confirm the word that the Lord swore to your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. Know therefore that the Lord your God is not giving you this good land to possess because of your righteousness, for you are a stubborn people. Remember and do not forget how you provoke the Lord your God to wrath in the wilderness. From the day you came out of the land of Egypt until you came to this place, you have been rebellious against the Lord. Even at Horeb you provoked the Lord to wrath, and the Lord was so angry with you that he was ready to destroy you. When I went up the mountain to receive the tablets of stone, the tablets of the covenant that the Lord made with you, I remained on the mountain forty days and forty nights. I neither ate bread nor drank water, and the Lord gave me the two tablets of stone written with the finger of God, and on them were all the words that the Lord had spoken with you on the mountain, out of the midst of the fire, on the day of the assembly. And at the end of forty days and forty nights, the Lord gave me the two tablets of stone, the tablets of the covenant, then the Lord said to me, Arise, go down quickly from here, for your people whom you have brought from Egypt have acted corruptly. They have turned aside quickly out of the way that I commanded them. They have made themselves a metal image. Thus far, God's word today. In response, let's sing together another hymn, hymn marking the wonderful bond that we share together, the love that we have for one another. And Indeed, to express the joy, I'm sure we're all feeling that we can be together face to face to worship. It's called Blessed Be the Tie That Binds. It's number 359. Let's stand again to sing. 